Fight Night Champion 2 is not coming out for another 10 years. This is due to recent information and recent news that has hit the internet. And we're going to be talking about it and we're going to be talking about this whole situation. But first, I want to take you right back to the start so you can understand why this is happening. Bruh. So, EA, once upon a time, decided, hey, we're done with boxing. We want to make UFC games. And then they released the first UFC game under their name. And someone said, yo, yeah, quick question. Why did you do this? Why did you switch from Fight Night to UFC? Why did you switch from the boxing genre to the MMA genre, to the MMA niche? And EA simply said, well, it's because UFC is on the rise. UFC is becoming more popular than boxing. So we're going to do that. We're going to go for the more popular option. And then everyone was fine with that answer because at the time, boxing was really becoming still. There wasn't too many big fights. There were big fights, obviously, but there weren't as many big fights as we see nowadays there wasn't boxing in recent memory has started to become alive again with the likes of anthony joshua tyson fury deontay wilder lomachenko these people are starting to revive boxing boxing's name and starting to revive the boxing sport but there was a period in time where boxing kind of just fell off no one really cared about boxing for a period of time now people are starting to care about boxing again but at the time, that's correct. EA had every right to say that. Every, every right to say, yo, boxing is just not as popular as it used to be. And we've got this new sport that we're going to capitalize on that is more popular, that's becoming more popular and has garnered a lot more attention recently than boxing. Obviously, boxing pay-per-views were still smashing MMA pay-per-views, but the, the increase, the audience retention was increasing more and more when it came to UFC events. So EA decided to make UFC games and when they released the first UFC game, everything was fine. They released the second game, everything was fine. They released the third UFC game and then there was a problem because now people started to question that first answer that MMA was more popular than boxing because UFC 1, 2 and 3 did not outperform Fight Night Champion. As far as I can see, the research I've done, um, it did not outperform boxing uc1 didn't uc2 came close but uc3 just didn't do it uc3 was the biggest dud i believe and that was the game that they promoted conor mcgregor like mad they had conor mcgregor on the cover and they promised this mad career mode that we never got by the way but that was a game they really promoted and really looked like they took to the next level but yet it still failed it still it still was a dud so now people weren't happy with that answer how's it because mma is more popular when your results don't reflect that belief so EA was forced to change their answer. EA said, actually, it's not because MMA is more popular. It's actually because boxing is a lot more complicated to make. UFC games are easier to make because with UFC games, you can simply say, hey, Dana, can I buy your likeness to make UFC games? And he's just like, yes, great. Here's the UFC likeness and EA get access to all the fighters. <laughs> Don't me. EA actually have a problem where they have too many. Now they're adding fighters in constantly. Instead of looking for fighters, they're constantly adding fighters because there's so many in the UFC roster. They've never had this problem with a boxing game. They've struggled to get boxers in their game. But with UFC games, they're struggling to add UFC fighters into their game. Boxing's just a lot more complicated. Boxing has a lot more middlemen. There's a lot more gunk involved in boxing. You have to buy likeness and licenses to every single boxer and go to every single manager, every single boxer and say, hi, can we use your likeness? Hi, can we use your likeness? Hi, can we use your likeness? It's going to cost way too much and it's tedious and it's going to take too much time. So this move to UFC was easier, it was simpler and it was more affordable. And that was great. Everyone didn't mind that answer. Then USC 4 dropped and Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury were in USC 4. The two biggest stars in boxing at the moment were in a UFC game. And that made me question, hmm, you just added two of the biggest names in boxing's in boxing in the boxing industry right now. You just added these two fighters, these two boxers into an MMA game. I'm wondering if it cost you as much as you thought it would, or I'm wondering if you just decided to go all out, seeing as UFC 4 is your last UFC game you can make under contract, right? Because UFC 4 was their last game. UFC 4 
was their last game for EA to make. They, all they had to do was make UFC 4 and they could be done with the UFC franchise forever. They could say, see you later, by UFC, we're going back to finite, we're going back to boxing. So I thought they just spent all their money and just went all out and added Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury into UFC 4 because of those last one. And I thought they were giving hints that, hey, here's Anthony Joshua, here's Tyson Fury. This is a little hint to show that Finite Champion 2 is coming after UFC 4. No, that was wrong. That thinking was wrong. Bad thinking. Smooth brain go. You see, UFC had an eight-year deal with EA. They had to make four. EA had to make four games under UFC in a span of eight years. So that was a game every two years. And UFC 4 was the last game in that contract. So when that contract ended, I thought they would go separate ways because Dana White came out and said he does not like EA. This was back in the day. EA back in the day said, hey, we're not making UFC games. We're not making MMA games because they're not popular. A few years later, they said, oh, they're making UFC games because they are popular. But a few years prior to that, they said they're not making UFC games because it's not as popular as boxing. This is when they were still making boxing games. They said, nah, MMA is not as popular as boxing, so we're not making them games. Dana White got offended by this and said he didn't like EA and said he wouldn't do business with EA. So how did EA and Dana White, the UFC, get in business? Well, you can blame THQ for that. THQ had recently signed a new deal with UFC to make more UFC games, right? This was a, I believe it was a 10 year deal. I'm not too sure what the actual uh, contract specifications were, but I know they signed a recent deal with um, THQ signed a recent deal with UFC to make more UFC games. However, THQ went bankrupt and they had this deal, right? And EA said, you know what? Relax. We'll give you some money if you give us that deal. And THQ were like, sound, sound, bro. Here's the deal. You can make the UFC games now. And now EA could make UFC games without Dana White's permission because they've already sold the likeness, the license, and EA just bought it off THQ. So Dana White had no say. So Dana White was pretty much forced into business with EA to make UFC games. And then he came out, Dana White then came out and said, hey, we actually like EA, EA aren't that bad. Typical Dana White contradicting himself many years later or even a few moments later. He, he pretty much came out and said, yo, UFC and EA are making games together. EA are a great company. And prior to that, he slammed them and he said they were a dreadful company and that they will never make a UFC game. But here we are, four games deep. So being forced into a contract with EA is not obviously good. That's like being forced into a relationship with a girl that you do not like and do not have any interest in, right? For four years. And then after them four years, she says, hey, you can leave, by the way. You can leave if you want. I would leave. I would leave and actually go on dates with girls that I actually like. Not Dana White. Not Dana White. Dana White said, you know what? Let's re-sign. Instead of after this contract ends, we don't want to participate with EA anymore because we didn't want to in the first place. Dana White said, no, let's sign up again. Let's do a 10-year deal, which means you make five UFC games, five EA UFC games, one every two years. That was a deal that was recently signed. So, for the next 10 years, we're going to get EA UFC games. I don't know whether that's good or bad. I think it's more of a bad thing. I don't think EA are necessarily bad at making UFC games. I just think they, they have the priorities wrong. I really like UFC 3. There are a few things that really annoy me about that game, but I like UFC 3. Haven't played much of UFC 4, but I think they've just got the priorities mixed up. I think UFC 4 was a game that they just decided to go all out on. They didn't really care because I don't think they even believed they would get the deal again. Seeing as Dana White didn't like them originally. So with this new deal, that means Fight Night Champion 2 is not happening for another 10 years. Now, many people say to me, well, this doesn't necessarily mean that. Why can't they make Fight Night and UC games side by side? One, EA don't want to. And two, I doubt Dana White would allow that. I doubt Dana White said, hey, you can make UFC games, but you can also make boxing games. Because if the UFC games don't sell well, then I don't think Dana White gets a big enough profit. EA don't make enough money if it's competing with itself. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense to compete with yourself and destroy one of your own games. Rockstar games are good at this. They're good at doing the opposite. Like, for example, they released GTA 5, right? And then they let a good period go by, and then they released Red 
Dead Redemption 2. And once that settles, they'll release another game. They don't release them side by side because they know they'll clash with each other. So I believe it's the same thing with EA and UFC and Fight Night. They don't want to release them side by side or a year after a year because they will clash with each other. No matter how far a distance between each other they are, they're going to always clash. And boxing's gonna always win, I believe. If they dropped a new fight night, that would outsell UFC, any UFC game that has been released in total. You combine all the UFC games up and add up the total sales. I think fight night champion 2 would smash the sales of that. So I don't think EA would do that. I don't think they would destroy one game, but build another game. And I also don't think EA care. <laughs> I honestly don't think they care about boxing. Boxing is just too complicated. Yes, they got the likeness to Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. It might not cost them as much. But then you've got to get likeness to Dillian, Dillian White. And then you've got to get likeness to Lomachenko. Then you've got to get likeness to Javante Davis. And then you've got to get likeness to Floyd Mayweather. And then you've got to get likeness to Manny Pacquiao. And it's just a mess. You just have to keep going to individual people and say hi can we use your likeness in this game we're making it's a mess i don't think ea want to deal with it i don't think i think the past that period they had that period it was a problem for them and they, they've found something more suitable more sustainable and more easy which is ufc um i don't know whether i agree with this decision or not but how, what power do i have but that's pretty much it that's why you will never see a fight night champion 2 within 10 years simply because EA signed a new UFC deal with UFC to say you have to make five UFC games in 10 years one game every two years and please don't make a boxing game during this time period and EA was like don't worry we weren't planning on doing that anyway so that's it thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed I thought I'd just bring some clarity on this situation let me know what you think about this deal. Do you agree with UFC and EA being back in business? Do you agree that EA should be making UFC games? Or do you think THQ Nordic should take over and THQ once again should make UFC games? Let me know. Or should should we have a fight night game? Let us know. Let us know your thoughts. What's going on inside that big brain of yours? Let me know. Thank you all. Much love. Bless. Like. Subscribe. Do all that stuff. I don't care. Just, just do what you want, bro. Slow down. Don't get me mad.